another video. Today I'm excited to do this video because I received this package in the mail. It is from Pink Lips Cosmetics. I want to say from here I was already excited and opened this package y'all. The owner of Pink Lips Cosmetics is so sweet. Every time she sends me a package, it's sent with love. And I truly appreciate you reaching out to me and sending me your amazing products. I still have the four lipsticks that she gave me the first time. I do still use these. Like if you guys do look down my timeline, I like to use the shade 33 and Cake. So I'm really excited to use her new products that she sent me. Everything seems when I did try uh, the lip gloss, it seemed reformulated, also a different scent. So let me go ahead and show you guys what she gave me. She definitely brought in her brand. She came out with some face products, she came out with the eye palette, and also regular lipsticks. She gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, six of her regular lipsticks. She gave me an eyeshadow palette as well. She gave me two highlighters and also three lip glosses and a liquid lipstick. Also different packaging for her liquid lipsticks, different packaging all around. I love this packaging, super cute. Love the whole pink concept, especially it matches her name. Love that. And, oh, and she also gave me this little cute mirror. I love handheld mirrors for when I do my makeup, especially on camera, because if I use my little mirror right here, I am definitely gonna be out of frame. So yeah, I really, rock it. I really appreciate the little handheld mirror. So let's see all of the lipsticks that she gave me, which is super cool. I love to see when a brand brought like, so the first lipstick that I'm gonna show you is a velvet matte. It is called In The Bluff. Get it out the packaging, very, very snug in the packaging. So I'm gonna just tear it off a little bit. And the packaging looks like this, really, really cute. And this is the color. Let me get my little mirror out, y'all, so I can add this lipstick on. These are my shades, like these dark browns are really pretty on me. And I actually like the, um, the bullet, the bullet of the lipstick fits right in my cupid's bow, so I'm able to get a nice, sharp, precise line without a lip liner. Very, very smooth and pigmented. And it smells really good. It smells like vanilla. Super creamy. I love creamy lipstick. And this is in the shade In The Buff. Really pretty. I love this brown shade. It would, if you want it to be less patchy because it is a lipstick and it is a cream lipstick, so it will be slightly patchy, but it's still kind of even. Um, and this cream lipstick without a lip liner, but wearing a lip liner would give it more pigment. It will give it a base on it. But they feel very creamy on the lips, very comfortable on the lips, hydrating. I did have like some crusty lips before I put this lipstick on and it's smoothing it all out and my lips are nice and soft now. So whatever formula that she has in here is lip nourishing. The next shade I'm gonna use is the shade Stripped. This is also her Velvet Matte Lip Collection. And this one I have already tried and I love this shade. It is gonna be really pale on me because I'm not using a lip liner. And this is what the shade Stripped looks like. I really like this color. Right now it's probably looking really pale on me, which is okay because with these type of pale lipsticks for me, I like to add on a brown lip liner, something like Morphe Sweet Tea or MAC Cork Lip Liner, these type of pale lipsticks you can run away with. From the same matte velvet line, we have this shade right here. Oh wow, this is a very pale color. It is called Bear, which I think I'm gonna really like this. I think I might wear Bear today. Oh yeah, this. Sorry about the horrible application, you guys. But this is it. It looks beautiful. I love this color. Like I said, 
this type of pale lipstick will look amazing with a brown i'm probably most likely going to wear this shade today paired with a brown lip liner and i'm excited to see what it looks like together because this type of pale lipstick looks nice now we're going to go into another matte velvet lipstick and this one is in give me body Ooh, i'm excited to see what this color looks like open up open this is the shade give me body really cute brown this one seems more of like a lighter brown Ooh, this is like a chocolate brown for real i love this color literally i'm in love with this color it looks so tasty i love this brown oh my god which one should i wear today like i've only swatched four of them so far and i want to wear them all and the next velvet matte lipstick is exposed <gasps> it's an old black lipstick I love this. I love this already. Super excited to already even try this. Like an all black lipstick. Ooh, look how pigmented it is already. It's definitely a little bit more drier than the other ones, but it is going on really smooth. I love this lipstick. I've been wanting a black lipstick too, and I didn't want a liquid lipstick that was in black. I wanted a cream lipstick that was in black, and she sent me a cream black lipstick. I love, love this lipstick. I'm rolling my lips, and it's only getting more even, like spreading across. It's looking beautiful, like it is a really nice black girl, but I love this black. This black is bomb. And the last matte velvet lipstick I got is in the shade pink. And it wouldn't be a collection of lipsticks if there wasn't a shade of pink. Ooh, this one is nice. Oh, what? This is cute. Wow, look at this packaging. That is so cute. So you just hit the little button here. The lipstick pushes out at the bottom. And your bullet is right here. And it's a pretty, pretty pink very creamy very barbie-esque i just love rubbing these lipsticks across my lips love this this lip is cute girl i love this pink it reminds me of like a snob but toned down a little bit more wearable on its own um if you are okay with wearing pinks if this is a little too pale for you like i said we can pair it with a lip liner okay so the next uh lippies we're gonna get into are the lip glosses her lip glosses are called the glow the glow gloss and this is in the shade glowed up and it's an all clear gloss you cannot go wrong with an all clear gloss if you are a lip company and you do not have a clear gloss in your collection you need to get it together Ooh, and it's super wet it smells delicious and the shine is beautiful. I love her new applicators. She did have the Dofa applicators for her lip glosses and lipsticks, cause I have one of her lip glosses as well. And she was using the Dofa applicators at first, which I like the Dofa applicators, but this type of Dofa applicator, I like more. Very soft on the lips. I'm gonna add a little bit more just because I love how it feels. Just throw this in your bag on an everyday. You could be wearing something like this. It gives you just juicy lips. My favorite thing to do is pair anything with a brown lip liner. If I pair anything with a brown lip liner, most likely it's a go. Something like this, like I would pair with a brown lip liner and put this on, or I'll even put this on by itself like this. And I'll walk out the house like this because my lips look so juicy and just cute and pretty. Like and then we're gonna use the lip gloss in glow ball and it looks like this it's like a nudie kind of gloss really pretty i like this one another everyday kind of gloss and i love glosses this color this one is really pretty it's not too overwhelmingly pigmented it's still a gloss again my lips are really smooth i took off six lipsticks and one lip gloss so that's seven products that i just put on my lips and my lips still aren't red 
they're not crusty or anything like that and the next gloss is sun glow and it looks like this i love the shine that she has in this one it's more of like a shimmer and this one gives me very nude vibe but with a slight sheen inside so it looks a lot more shiny pretty wet I love that kind of feel. Super cute lip gloss. Like she, her lip gloss right now got me feeling myself. Like I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been feeling myself while trying these out because my lips look really nice with her glosses on, and they really smoothen out my lips. Like they make them look so soft. I love this gloss. And I have one more gloss, and this one is called Glow Getter. Oh, this one is a very pale pink. Really pretty. For some people, this might be a lot more wearable than the actual lipstick by itself because this is really pretty by itself. It's not too strong of a pink. The pink is still there, but it's not too much and it just gives you like that hint and it's really, really pretty. Like all the rest of these lip glosses, very nourishing. I love them. The last lip that she gave me is her Long Lasting Matte Liquid Lip. And this is in this shade. I don't know, maybe I have to look at the bottom. What's called Cherry Bomb, my bad. It's a really beautiful red uh, liquid lip. I love the packaging. It gives me like Dior vibes and it's very luxurious really love this Ooh, this red is amazing very soft formula it doesn't dry down too fast to where you can't play with the shape of your lips but it does dry down so you do have to work kind of fast but you don't have to work too fast and this is all with one swipe i have not i put my applicator back into the lipstick this is just one dip this red is gorgeous girl this red is just a perfect red it is drying down as we speak it does take a little while for it to dry down but it's very pretty i only needed one dip very opaque i wonder how long lasting it is it does at this moment feel like it's a little sticky but also it doesn't feel completely dry and it's drying down and it's drying down to a beautiful velvety matte finish i'm looking at my little viewfinder that i have on the side of my camera and how matte and red this lipstick is is driving my eyes to it i love it so much it's so pretty the next thing that she sent me is her eyeshadow palette it is called the pink palette so pretty it has such such pretty shades in here and also let me just show you her swatches so beautiful and opaque this red is called power and this fuchsia pink is called nice i really like these she also has a beautiful shade named queen in here it's like a coppery color i really like this and the last two things that i did get are these highlighters these are the glow up highlighters this highlighter is in the shade pink frost and it looks like this i really love the packaging on here so far very pretty okay it's kind of it's kind of chalky in a way but pretty I don't know how bright this is gonna be. We're definitely gonna be able to try one of these today. And the next highlighter is called Golden Gleam. Well, this one, it doesn't have so much powder on my finger. And this one definitely seems a lot more brighter. So I'm excited to use this gold one today. All right, guys. So now that I showed you all of the products that I did receive from Pink Lips Cosmetics, let's go ahead and use some of the products now. I've already did my brows off camera. Now it's time to do my eyeshadow. I am going to go ahead and use the eyeshadow palette, which is called the Pink Palette. And I'm excited. I love trying new eyeshadows. Today I am definitely definitely in more of a neutrals kind of vibe I am wearing like a army skirt with a white shirt so I'm most likely gonna go in with these with this red and with the copper so I'm gonna go in with this shade called pink first I'm just gonna go in with a little concealer brush real quick and take out all of the creases on my lid before I add any eyeshadow 
And then I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush in some of that shade pink, and I'm gonna add that in my crease. They do have a little fallout, which is okay with me. They're very pigmented and off rip. I can tell that they're gonna be blendable because it's already blending out nicely. And I am gonna take this out in like a wing shape here. And for my whole outfit to flow properly, I feel like I'm gonna use this red right here. And this is in the shade Power on the same fluffy, you know what, I'm not gonna take it on the same fluffy brush. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M514 brush in some of this shade Power. I'm gonna add it right in the crease. And this red is pigmented. Look how pretty this is. And I'm just gonna flick it just to give it a little bit of shape. I'm gonna go in with a different blending brush with pink because I added some of Power onto my original blending brush. And I don't wanna mix these two shades up because they're so close together. They could blend in and mix up really quickly. All right guys, now that this eye is all caught up, we're gonna go ahead and continue with finishing the eyes. I'm gonna take this Luxie brush and go into the shade Queen, which is this beautiful coppery shade right here. And I'm gonna take this shade right on my lid. Ooh, wow, look how bright this color is. Very pretty, opaque, creamy, blendable. All the right words for this, cause this is nice. And it's blending in with this red really nice. Okay, and while that while I am here, before I add my foundation, I want to add a wing liner on. This will look really cute with a wing liner. So I'm taking my Cleopatra eyeliner from Lydia Beauty, and I'm gonna take the sleek one, which is the more thinner one, and add a stamp right on the outer corners. making sure that I tilt that in the proper way. And then go in with this side. And start closing this all up. And after that, I'm just going to go in with my makeup wipe and clean up the edges. Today's lash is going to be Erotic from Rude Cosmetics. So I'm going to apply these lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, while I was off camera, I just did my base. I added on some foundation and concealer set it and put some bronzer on all of it has been the same thing lately look how pretty these lashes are by the way super pretty lashes so let's go ahead and finish up the eyes i am going back in with this palette and i am taking a pencil brush and i'm taking the shade power which is that beautiful red shade and i'm going to add this to my lower lash line i'm going to bring that all the way in and then I'm gonna lightly blend it out a little bit with some pink once I get the color all blended. And then back in with some more of the shade called Pink. And that's the color we use in our transition. I'm just gonna blow out that lower lash line with it real quick. And then for my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with two shades. I'm gonna take the shade Glowed Up, which is this corner shade here. And I'm gonna add this right into my inner corner. And then right on top of Glowed Up, I'm gonna add the shade Mother of K. And that is this beautiful baby pink shimmer shade right here. And I'm gonna add that directly in the inner corner only. And I'm not gonna drag that up too high. And that's just gonna brighten up that inner corner a little bit more. I'm gonna add some black eyeliner on. 
And to give it that extra oomph, I'm going to take this brush with a little bit of red on it. I'm going to go on the edges of my lash line and kind of like smudge that out a little bit just to give it a little bit of a smoky kind of vibe. I'm going to take some of this red just a little bit and I am going to add it right in my lash line, blending out some of that black, giving it a little smoke. like this. I'm going to take my curler one more time. I'm sorry, if you guys can hear my neighbors cutting their grass, you know, it is what it is. They got to cut their grass. I'm just going to lift them up a little bit just so that I don't see them too much. Now I'm going to take the Pink Lips Cosmetic Golden Gleam Highlighter. I'm going to add this on this little foundation brush. I'm going to add that to the corners here. It's very pretty though. Like, look how nice this shine is. A very natural one. In person, it's not as... Come on, guys. In person, it's not as glowy. Well, that's a lie. It is as glowy as in person that it is on the camera. So I'm going to take the highlighter and I'm going to add it right on the top of my cheekbones. And it's a really pretty subtle highlighter. And the more I build it up, the more shinier it gets. It has a pretty shine. And I like to drag lines all the way down to my cheekbones. And on the tip of my nose as well, like this. Very pretty. Oh, y'all about to forget some mascara on my baby lashes. We can't forget mascara on the baby lashes. That is so important. So I'm gonna go back in with my MAC Extra Dimension Waterproof Mascara. And I'm gonna add that on my lower lash line. Making sure I coat that up. Oh, man. Arr. Okay guys, so I got some mascara right here on my inner corners. I'll take that out at the end, but right now it's time for the lips. All right, for the lips guys, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe lip liner in Kissy and Coffee, and I'm gonna outline my lips. And once I'm here, I'm going to go in with the shade Bare, which was that yellowish nude. And I'm going to add that right in the inside. I'm going to take some more Kissy and Coffee and blend everything together. Then on top of that, I'm taking the lip gloss in Glow Ball. And I'm adding that right on top. And then back in one more time with my lip liner. Such a pretty combination. Like, I really, really like this color bare. It looks so pretty on, especially when you pair it up with a brown lip liner like this. This lip liner is not necessarily so brown. It's more of like a mauve brown but it still looked really pretty with this um, lipstick when you blended it in together. It looks really cute. And now guys, I'm just gonna take my Urban Decay D-Slick um, setting spray and set my entire face. And then I'm gonna go in with my fan. And I'm gonna be all bougie-like. Dry it all up. All 
Alrighty guys, and this is the completed look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I had fun trying out all of these products. I was actually surprised in this highlighter and the fact that it is a gold with like this pinky shine in it looks really cute with the palette that she made. This palette right here is super nice, very blendable and pretty decent shades to be real. I loved all of them that I use. I've only, I only used four of them which was this red, this copper, and these two shades right here. And I really like this palette. I will definitely be using this palette a lot more often. Right along with this highlighter, I actually like this highlighter. I didn't think that it was gonna be too bright, but it's actually a really pretty bright. It is something that is more wearable, something for more of the everyday, and I kinda like that about this highlighter. And for the lippies, I love the lippies especially this shade bare and also the lip glosses i love the lip glosses i love the lipstick i love the liquid lipstick i love everything that she sent me literally everything if you guys are interested in any of these products and you want to try them yourself go ahead and use the code pink just to save you at least 10 percent off so that you can at least try the lipstick and see if you like them they're actually very affordable at the value of eight dollars the lip glosses are probably the only things that are a little bit more expensive in the lip category because these are 14 her liquid lipsticks are eight so if you do want to try out the lips or give one of her pale shades out a try and do this ombre look um, it is eight dollars for the lipsticks if you guys do like videos like these please make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also comment down below let me know what you thought about the video make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click the little notification bell up there so you know every time i upload a video i do try to upload my videos on mondays but for sure i like to have a video out once a week so you guys have something new and fresh to watch follow me on all my social media i have instagram facebook and i do use tiktok sometimes it's all at Santina Marie. And until next time, guys, bye.